Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Benovich here. We got a chance for some storms today, and some of those storms could be strong, but I think the bigger threat for a lot of us is going to be the threat for some flash flooding, especially in the mountains and foothills, where we've seen some slow-moving storms over the last couple of days. Let's go to the radar and satellite right now. A couple things you notice here, not a lot going on right now here in the morning, but that's kind of typical um, when you see this kind of setup. But I'll point out a couple of things. We've got a stalled front to the north, which is going to sag a little bit further to the south, over time today. We've also got that old uh, low pressure, which had a better chance of developing last week, is now down to 30% chance of development. The thing to remember about that system, that's probably going to be more of just a, a nuisance rainmaker for areas on the coast. It's certainly uh, something we'll keep an eye on, but you can see the little swirl going on there just east of Jacksonville. Not a lot of moisture with it, but that's only got a 30% chance of development. I think, whoops, I think the bigger story is going to be this cold front coming in today. That's going to give us a pretty significant chance of some stronger storms. And real quickly, I'll turn on the risk for severe storms today. You can see the area in yellow. That's the lowest risk we have for severe storms. And again, the type of severe storms we're talking about today, pulse. They pulse up, produce some strong winds, and then they're done. That's the threat for severe weather. Now, Let's take a look at the risk for um, possibly some flash flooding. And I'm going to put on the day one flash flood risk here. And you can see the area kind of in this orange is yellow. That's that medium risk for flash flooding. The reason why is we've had some slow moving storms the last couple of days in the foothills. And I do think this is an area we'll watch today for potentially some flash flooding as well. So let's go right to the future cast. All right, so let's go to the future cast this afternoon. I'll zoom in a little bit closer here. You can see we're going to go into the afternoon, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Ooh, all of a sudden, 2 o'clock, things start exploding here in the mountains. And that's what we'll be watching. These areas right in here starting to really take off this afternoon. And I expect a line of pretty slow-moving storms. That's why you see that flash flood risk kind of here in the foothills. These will be slow movers, and the efficiency of the rainfall could be a couple inches per hour. And then you see it kind of moving to the south and east through the evening hours, 6, 7 o'clock, and then down through the Piedmont, and again, and then kind of gone. Tomorrow looks to be another somewhat active day because that stalled front will still be in the area. I doubt we'll see anything too strong, but just like today, flash flooding is going to be our biggest risk. And along the coast, I'm going to show you that little low pressure system, which is down here, moves inland, kind of meanders out, becomes kind of a non-issue. So that low pressure is going to become less of a talking point for the next couple of days weather-wise. And it's really just going to be these afternoon and evening storms, which are going to bubble up. And again, these afternoon and evening storms are going to have the potential to produce some flash flooding. And I think that's going to be our biggest risk um, as we go into the afternoon hours. Let me quickly show you some of the rainfall amounts that we could see throughout today and tomorrow. So real quickly, we'll just look at some of the possible rainfall amounts over the next uh, 72 hours. You can see how isolated some of these amounts are, but they're pretty heavy. So I'm going to go all the way up 48 hours. And you can see some of these areas in here, you've got a couple localized areas of 2 to 3 inches. And then areas of almost nothing. And then another area of 1 or 2 inches. So these are still going to be scattered storms. Remember, not everybody's going to get rain out of this. But if it does get over a year, you're going to see some very heavy rainfall today and probably even tomorrow. And I'll loop this again. This is a 48 hour loop just to show you through today, right there, tonight calm down, and then tomorrow afternoon things flare back up. Of course we'll have you covered throughout the afternoon and into the evening. If you're watching the Olympics, I'll keep you up to date online, social media, uh, WCNC app. Make sure you stay weather aware because we could have some strong storms today and even tomorrow.